So the next principle we want to talk about, once all the water is out, is evaporation. This is uh, this principle is the key. Okay, I, I, we can't dry a structure unless we promote evaporation. And what is the evaporation? It's taking the water, water soaked in a material, water on the floor, water wherever it's at, excess water, and turning it from a liquid to a gas, and then eventually we'll remove it from the environment. We do this in a number of ways. We can add some heat to it, but we have to promote it. I have two choices to make, really, when I get there. I can either direct energy right to the wet materials, or I can just, as in this example here, I can just heat up the whole room. So I can get in there and I think, man, if I just shut the AC off in this room, and I heat this whole room up to, say, 95 degrees, well, then stuff's going to dry, right? stuff's going to dry, but maybe stuff's going to dry that I don't want to dry. I might have beautiful crown molding up around here, but because I didn't just focus my energy on what was wet, I just heated the whole room. Number one, you're going to see it's going to take longer to dry, and number two, I might cause some secondary damage. That nice crown molding up there, all the seams are starting to come apart, get little gaps there. All right, we don't want that. Now I'm going to demonstrate this for you. I'm going to take some water. Get the uh, 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 other one, other one. Remember, they're in front of the right one. This, yeah, that one. Right. Thank you. And they're both at 300 degrees. You just saw me check the temperature on that. Just that's an even comparison. So what we have here, thanks, is I have a, a drying chamber established, and I have raised the temperature in this drying chamber up there to say 95 degrees or so. And I'm I'm just cooking that whole room, All right? And I've got some water in there, and we'll. See what happens. Okay. Well, eventually, I got any steam coming? I might have just a little bit of steam in there. All right. We'll let that sit and marinate for a few days while I got some air movers going on it. All right. That's method one. <coughs> I can do that. I equate this method to not extracting. I've got equipment going on in there. I got the whole room set up and dry, but it's taken forever. Or uh, I can focus on just those wet materials. Oh, look at that. I can direct my energy right there to only what is wet, and now I'm seriously promoting evaporation. You can see here in this very crude example, but focusing the energy to just the wet materials as opposed to this method here is another responsible way, is the responsible way uh, to dry this thing in less time more efficient. All right, it's going to take less equipment. You can imagine it would take less equipment just to focus on a certain area than to do the whole room, right? All right, fantastic. Did it hurt anybody this time? Nope, nope, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. No one was harmed. Cool. No one was harmed. So when we see um, when we see that example, we see the steam coming up. You can see the liquid going from a uh, liquid state to a gas. And that's happening because the vapor pressure in the water is increasing. All right? And once we get, you get that vapor pressure, our goal in drying is to get the vapor pressure of the water in the materials above the vapor pressure of the air. High pressure always seeks to go to low pressure. And you're going to see as we continue, that's the basic concept. 